All you'll need are some long nose pliers and a Phillips screwdriver. Firstly, remove the plug from the wall to eliminate all of the power and then remove the screw that's holding down the casing and pop this to one side. Now remove the top screw which is holding down the starter device. You'll then be able to gently wiggle the starter device away from the metal bracket. Take a photo of the existing starter device so you have a reference for all of the wire placements. To remove the connectors, use some long nose pliers, grip the end of the connectors and push away as shown here. To remove the capacitor from the mount, pinch the sides at the front and you'll then be able to push it through the hole of the mount. Take the new capacitor out of the packaging and connect the blue wire to where the previous one was and the same for the brown wire. Make sure they're properly connected and you're good to go. You can then attach the starter device back as shown here and screw the top screw back in place. Now you can tuck the wires out of the way, attach the plastic housing back on and screw the screw back in as shown here. Finally, attach the capacitor to the bracket by passing it through the hole as shown and you should hear a click. And then that's it, you're all sorted.